Hello everybody, let's paint some tea towels. Okay, so we're doing the turtle, but I wanted you guys to see some others in case you needed some ideas. These are the food ones I've done um, so far for this round. Uh, artichoke, oranges, lemons and limes, and watermelons. I also did some bar carts. I did quite a few varieties um, of these different, you know, vignettes, whatever. And of course, you gotta have a crab and some oysters to go with that turtle we're painting today. Are you starting to think about Christmas presents, um, crafts, things like that? All right, well, stay with me today and we are going to paint um, tea towels. And I did a few of these holiday cheer, you know, the palm with the different um, balls on it. I need to do details on my balls, but I'm in, I need fabric markers to make it small to do that. So I've got to add that in later. And finally, I did herbs. So a friend of mine, she does the most yummy soaps. So we're going to pair the herb towels, tea towels. This is rosemary with a bar of sage soap and um, we are selling these at a bazaar that benefits um, women and children, different um, nonprofits. So that's what I did with these herbs. So before we get started, let's make sure we're acclimated just right. So if you open up your tea towel, your little hook should be on the back with the label. And then this part, the bottom, is going to be put your cardboard, your thick paper underneath because sometimes when you're painting, it will go through. And that way everything stays clean. Okay, so here's where we're gonna paint our turtle. And just to make sure you've acclimated everything correctly, there's where the loop is, right there. Okay, so it's out of the way. So then when you hang it up, this is what you're gonna see, which will be lovely. So I'm gonna take you into my Amazon account, which is where I got the KAF Home white kitchen towels. They come as a 10 pack, 100% cotton, 20 by 30. They are fabulous guys. And look at the price for 10, they're $19.99. And if you have an Amazon account, of course it's free shipping. Now you can go straight to the, um, the KAF home if you prefer, but this is where I got them. And um, I love them because they're nice, nice weave. It's just a plain weave, but it's, it's really good for, for anything. Let's gather our supplies up, gang. Let's get our acrylic paints, whatever your color palette you want. I'm choosing this for the turtle. You also need to make sure that you have your fabric painting medium. This is from Deco Art. You can get it at any um, hobby shop. I actually ordered mine on Amazon. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. This ensures that your acrylic paint becomes permanent. We'll also end up heating it as well. So now sketch out your turtle. Get a picture and follow it. So for any of y'all that have ever painted with me, you know I've got to get the eyeballs in first. I am using a uh, permanent acrylic pen. It is water-based, however, when we go, I'm gonna add some of the fabric painting medium on top of it, but when we go to um, heat it and set the um, paint in, it will not fade, I promise. Um, but I, it's easier for me to really get the eyeball if I use this. Um, now, there is some videos out there where people actually use um, a 
acrylic markers on theirs and I have used them in different places for sure and I have washed and then I have um, dried them in and they definitely set I just I don't know I just like using the paint because with the medium because I feel like um, maybe it'll last just a little bit longer okay so we've got the eyeball in Let me show you my palette, okay? So I have two different greens, pink, red, orange, yellow, and blue. I always have white. And then this right here is the medium. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the eyes. So I'm gonna put the blue, grab me a little bit of white, make a light blue, and then you just put that medium right on in there and you just mix it and off you go to apply. And so I'm going to do a light blue around his little eyeball. I'm going to come back right now. He looks like he's like flipping out. We'll come back. We'll come back and close that up a little bit. Um, and then, you know, around a turtle's neck, they have like those little lines, you know, when they stick their little body out of the shell. So I'm gonna pull in some greens. Just keep making different lines. And every time you pick up a color, make sure you dip it in the medium and you just paint on here just like you would, you know, any other like painting, honestly. Um, okay, so this is the undercarriage and then this is his little arm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the shell right now. I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So let's start, I'll start from I need to start from the left and go right because I'm right-handed. Okay, so I'm going to do his shell um, probably like a greeny blue back here. Um, and you know what? When I do this, I rarely wash my brush. I just simply pick up the color I want and off I go. Um, I dip it in the in the medium and just keep trucking. So I've decided that I think I'm going to do a lot of the shell green and blue. Okay, and I am going to pick up some white. Maybe go kind of around it a little bit so it sort of defines the shell. It's okay if it goes up. It's just, you know, have fun with this activity, y'all. Um, you know, even though I'm selling these, I still want it to look like an artist had a good time creating this thing. Um, I think I'm going to do the legs a um the fins <laughs> i really need to look that word up what are they called um i think i'm gonna do them like hot colors with my oranges and my yellows and that sort of thing reds all right so let's just keep going around just have a good old time here I hope everybody's gotten into their um, their fall rhythm for all of you that have kids who've gone back to school, teachers, God bless you, going back. I remember when I was a teacher, it was so hard to, for that summer to end. It went so fast. Um, 
Okay, let's keep moving this. Okay. So now I'm going to take this white and I'm sort of going to just define where the edge of my turtle is. See if I can make this go up a little bit so you can see more at once. Okay. So I'm dipping my brush, even though it's got all those colors on it, uh, into the white. And I'm running it across. I just kind of want to define the um, round part of the shell. And then I'm going to um, outline it a little bit, I think, in Start outlining this part. Again, there's no rhyme nor reason. This is a fun kitchen towel. Okay, so we are just getting all our little lines and bits in. Uh, remember that this part right here sort of is bigger. The part that goes down. Um, make that one a little bit bigger. A little bit out of proportion, but that's okay. Again, it's more about having some fun. Okay, and then... All right, so there we've got this. I need to get the rest of my edge put in. I'm doing a lot of light blue. Get some green in there. And some light green. And then if you wanna clean off some of your um, paint, just put it on a paper towel. And then go back and pick up some blue. Okay, so there we go. This big humongous eyeball looking at me is cracking me up. Oh my goodness, I need to tone him down a little bit. All right, so now I am going to clean my brush because I'm going... And if you, when you do that, make sure you get all that water out. You want to have it as dry as possible. And now I'm going to let you see my palette. Okay, so I'm going to pick up some yellow and put it in the stuff. And then I'm going to pick up some, okay, you see the white. And put the white over here with the yellow. And I'm also going to pick up some orange. Okay. Put some of this on there. All right. And now I'm going to come back and I'm going to start on these legs. Can you see the legs? So I wanted my legs to be dark colors. And I will come back with the white and sort of outline it like I did before. But you know, turtles have um, sp splotches on them for lack of a better word. And I don't want a lot of this to be white because I want to draw in the white. So I'm trying just to get a 
lost my yellow. Okay, there it is. some dots for the yellow. All right, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I add the white in. I am gonna go back over here where this is dry and get some of that in. And let's see how dry that, oh, good. Okay, it's fine. I. I like for it to be fairly dry, but I also want it, I don't mind it running a little bit um, because I think it looks better than just being stark. And when you put that medium on there, if the paint runs a little more, if you're using craft paint, um, you may want to wait for yours to dry more. Mine's just so full bodied because it's the stuff I use on canvas. Um, that it, it's not quite as, um, going to run as much as when you use the craft acrylics. All right, for right now, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to come back. All right, let's do this leg back here. I'm gonna at least get the black part, go over it with the white. And then add in my warm colors, starting with a big block of orange and some pink, leaving some space to add in um, the white later. Hang on, I wanted that to be a light pink, not white. There we are. Pull in some yellow with some orange. Okay. So, oops. So there we are. We've got looks <laughs> like pokey pet pokey little parts of the um of the turtle. Okie doke. So <clears throat> I think the shell part, I think I'm going to start with it being greens and blues. And as it comes up here, maybe, maybe mix some red and some blue and a little bit of white and maybe make it like a lavender, put in a little bit of pink. That way, it'll sort of blend a little bit better, I think. Okay. So, because this right here is part of the leg, so it's going to be a warm color. So, I don't know if we've talked about color temperatures before, but basically, um, cool colors are your blues your greens and your warm colors are like, think of the sun, think of um, yellow and um, red, pink, orange. So when you do the purple, purple sort of mixing both I think <clears throat> it's probably more of a cool color, um, but it's a good blend when you mix stuff up like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this green in, and I'm going to do this purple back here with a little bit, and it's all my brushes dirty, I, but I like it that way because I, I think that's how all the colors sort of move from one space to the other. All right, now I'm gonna wipe it off. And this back part, I'm gonna make it a light blue. And 
pull that in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going back and I'm adding some, um, sorry about the noise, there's people in the house. I'm going to go back and add my warm colors over here at the leg. But even though it's warm, do you see where I still have some stuff on my brush? Um, so that's actually darker, which is fine. And I'll get some red in here. Over here where it's nice and dark, I'm going to put some light. Okay, I got a lot of pink over here. I need to get some yellow. And, oh no. Got paint all over my shirt. All right, let's finish this little booger up. I'm going to add in some yellows now because I feel like there's a lot of pinks. So I'm gonna get some yellow in here. And here. Oh, uh, his head. I think I'm gonna do his head back. Go back to the greens. And then oh, let's see. All right, let's put this here. I feel like the turtle's back kind of got muted. <clears throat> not as vibrant and pretty as it could be. So if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm mixing some colors over here to kind of get it. Like here's a purple. And do a darker purple maybe. Periwinkle. I put a periwinkle here. Well, it's like a dark purple now. I just, when you look at this, you know, I know it's going to be in somebody's kitchen. I want it to be. Um, colorful so it's really cute but you also don't want it to clash in their kitchen you want it to all sort of go together uh, if that makes sense okay here's some more green brighten that up a little bit All right, let's see if I can get a little bit of um, white mixed in with that blue and then some of the medium. And it's really good to just apply thin layers and then go back because if you don't, it goes through the cotton. And I try really hard. I, I don't mind seeing some of the paint go through because of the fibers and the weave, but <clears throat> if I can have less, that's good. Okay. All right, let's finish this baby up. We're gonna go get some white with some of the medium and we're just gonna clean it up a little bit and make sure it makes sense. 
So we're going to put white up here. When you're painting on fabric, it absorbs it so fast. You just got to keep loading it up. And I don't really want to see any of my fabric black, you know, that I did when I sketched it out. <clears throat> I wasn't sure when I did it, but now that I'm in it, I don't want to see any of that. So I'm trying to make sure I get it nice and thick over that. And All right, so the final little touches on this little booger. <clears throat> you can see I got most of the white in. His face is still, I don't love his face yet. I'm going to still keep messing with that with some of this white. Um, just making sure that I got everything exactly where I wanted it. You know, they have that little, <clears throat> I want to say it's a nose, but it's really not a nose, but it seems like it for those of us who have a nose it's like they've got like a situation like right here um Where God's like, what the heck have you done to my nose, lady? I'm trying to get my paint's drying up fast here. Okay, so how you finish this off is you wait and you let it dry really good. Like I wait like two days and then you um, take a hot iron, do not use steam, just put it on the cotton setting and no water and you will <clears throat> get a um, white um, dish towel, a white... Uh, towel, any kind of white towel. And basically you're gonna put it on top of this and you're just gonna press the iron on top. And I do it for a little while. You know, I, I go back and forth with it. And basically the heat from the iron mixed with the medium that's mixed into the um, paint, that is what sets the um, paint to be permanent. And then after that, you can wash it in the washing machine. You can dry it. You can do whatever you want. Um, it will be a tea towel that will last you a very long time. So there we have it. Our little turtle that's of many colors. I hope you guys had a great time doing this. I hope I've inspired you. I hope you make some for various holiday gifts. Um, I'll see you next week for something else that's a lot of fun. Oh, make sure you do a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I've got to build this, this uh, audience. Um, anyway, we'll see you next week, people. Thanks. Bye.